What's going on? This is the Red Phillip Show. I'm Red Phillip. Welcome. Well, I'm in need. Yes, it's a trifling friend indeed. Oh, she's a gold digger. Way over time. That digs on me. Y'all ready for this? The Red Phillip Show on the Rainbow Radio Network. Let the rhythm, let the rhythm take you, take you, take you. That's a long intro, eh? Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I can't wait till we actually fucking have sound bites and quotes that we can just throw in there and shit. Yeah, we, you we know do what I'm our saying? Own for now. We do our own. We're good. Yeah. Yo, yo, Mo says try inviting him again because Google is being a fucking asshole. Yeah. No, and tell him to look up Nick, like Nick Way, and then it will come. And then like, no, no, I got him. I got him right here. Anyway, what's up, everybody? Right, I'm sending it anyway. All hey, right, yeah, we're we're, up, at, we're absent one. We're 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 down one, but we're waiting. We're on it. Oh yeah. Huh? So uh. <laughs> so what's going on? What's going on with you two? Uh, what's going on with us? You gotta introduce us, motherfucker. You. Oh. Oh, all right. You want to be introduced? Uh, I see you special. Okay, so I'm I'm Red Philip here. Red Philip coming at you, and this this is Chris Craig over on, on, Actually, on my I'm left. Thinking, I'm thinking on air of just sticking with MC Cocktopus. I'm thinking. About. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. MC Cocktopus, aka Chris Craig. Uh, no, 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 AK. I don't want an AK. I just want to be MC Cocktopus. Okay, MC Cocktopus. In, in that case, just, and, but if I end up working in porn, and then you've already given away my real name. Well, I, that's your prerogative. <laughs> anyway, we have Nicholas Radjic on the right. Yeah, um, I right. don't know if you want to be called MC Cocktopus, but uh, uh, I'll pass on that. Just call me Nick Radjic. Okay, we can we can do that. Here's the difference, Nick. Nick Red Phil, let me explain something to you. Okay, here's the difference. Nick is trying to stay in legitimate film, which is why he always is like really eager. In fucking uh, lecture classes and shit, and he wears his fucking glasses and shit, cause yeah, he wants I, I to can't make see sure. Fucking board, B. I I got shitty eyes yeah, sometimes, you know. You know he tries. You know, here's the here's the he tries to be legitimate, but you know he just wants to make fucking you know movies. He want he wants to just make shit like horror movies, but he wants That's to come up. off like he's trying to make Citizen Kane. <laughs> Well, man, you gotta start well, somewhere, right? Gotta start somewhere. See, yeah, see, so I, I so commend that, that shit. <laughs> it's so the hipsters respect him, but Nick knows he's not a hipster. He's like, he, he know, Definitely he has, has hipster. no hipster Definitely in him, right? The, the Trojan horse, the Trojan horse. Exactly. <laughs> he, he has no hipster in him, and the fucking hipsters can smell it. Okay, they can fucking uh, taste but, that but, shit. But hipsters are stupid, so they won't know. They'll never figure <laughs> no, it out. No, no, they can taste it, man. They can taste that he doesn't have a drop of Pab's Blue Ribbon in his blood. They can taste it. Okay? No, I do not. That, that shit is gross. So I, th Nick I think they could just try... they could just smell it in the air, but you know they see, they're, Nick they're too focused try... on their iPads. They can't <laughs> fucking see shit. You know that's going on. Nick has to try and and like be like a a, a fucking fake intellectual douchebag on their level because he's not. Because the reality is, look, Nick would make fucking... You like, mean all the time or just when he's around them? Just it, when he's around it, there's, them. Just well, when he's around them. Like, again, Nick it's the would, Trojan Nick horse, would, right? You got to fucking... You got to play with the, uh, you know, the football players. You got to be a football player when you're on the field. Nick would make fucking cabin <laughs> okay. fever. Okay, he would make cabin fever a thousand times before he would make uh, a single man. Okay? Oh, yeah, no. I, I, I don't think I could make a single man. That's not... <laughs> Uh, nah. Yo, fucking a single man is it's commendable. Like, it's commendable. I like no, it. No, I respect Nick. Believe me, I do. But like, here's the other thing: is we we just talking about grades? What grades we got this year, right, Nick? We were talking about that. Yeah, we were talking like, about that. I failed the class the first time in my life. I never have failed the class. What'd this you get? Fucking... Wait, what class was it first off? What class? Intro to Administration Studies, aka what? Communist Indoctrination Camp. What does that even mean? <laughs> what do you what do you do? We learn about the ethics of like economics. So it's like, and, I, and my whole thing is like, it's not my problem if you know, Target wants to come into Canada and sell cheap shit. That ain't my problem, B. That's got nothing to do with me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, they're taking away Canadian 
getting jobs and they're taking her jobs. They're taking her jobs. Here's the thing. Who isn't taking away Canadian jobs? What makes Target special, motherfuckers? Who's taking jobs? Who isn't taking jobs, period? Yeah, like, exactly. Wh wh who are we to say that no one can just have a job? Uh, just We have to have the jobs and they have to have the jobs. You know, Everybody ha needs a fucking job, man. That's fucking like ignorant white people thinking. It's like, it's, it's Target. If Target can sell shit cheaper, you know, get your shit together, fools. Uh, uh, yeah, I think the point is if, if you can't go out there and take the job, then you're just pissed off that someone else is going to take it. You you yeah. just don't have the balls yeah. to take it yourself. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, it's like, well, you know, then you hear these people who are like, oh, you know, it's the Chinese and the Indians coming across the ocean and taking our job. And it's like, how do the Indians Look, come across the You learn how to read a what? Chinese food vendor and go over there and take this shit. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Fuck. Uh -huh. Go riding the subway, uh, shoulder to shoulder with a billion fucking Asians. Yeah, and where, and and where those those fucking uh, uh, breathing mass shit. Exactly, and you'll see why they're coming over here taking our fucking jobs. They're fucking spilling over into the ocean over there. They're swimming here. Huh? There's too many of them over there. Too many. Can you imagine how much rent must cost in like Beijing? Yeah, exactly. I mean, well, think, like, I don't know. if you consider New York, New York is like you, you get a fucking it's small apartment. Be way like more million. than it is here, dog. Exactly. Like, but yo, so I, I feel in administration studies, right? And I'm like, the first, the whole class this is the whole class. The first test, the midterm, worth forty percent of your grade. The the, the exam, worth sixty percent of your grade. That's it. Nothing else. Teacher would never return emails. He even—he was some old British fuck. And he's like, "Well, I am not required by university policy to actually return student emails outside of my hours." So no, no that, I, it, that wow. was like my psychology. That was like my psychology guy. He's just like that. My psychology prof. He's yeah, yeah, man. man. I was like, like, "I'm paying your salary, bitch. Answer my question." I'm paying up for this shit. Yeah, dog. Like. I can't even believe it. So, yeah, I got a 69 on the first test, you know, and I, I fuck up on the last test and I, I fail the whole class. Really? Is Can you even do that? Can you even make an exam 60% of a grade? I thought the most they could do was 30. Was oh, this no. Class, was this they class, did it. Like, e extremely important to your... Uh, no, you know, it wasn't. No, I had to take it. Elective. I had to take oh. it because it was the... I, I, I took it because it was the only class where the class was one day a week. And because I needed three credits to keep my eligibility to work on campus, so I was getting paid to go to class. There's no what? Reason. That's pretty awesome. I would have, I, cause I dropped um that feminist, uh, you know, cut all your dicks off if you're men, cause you ruin the world class. So I didn't have enough credits, so I had to take this. Holy fuck! Oh. You had, you had to, you were, you were in that class. You were in a class like that. Oh man, concepts of males and females in the West. Fucking, I had the craziest bitch teacher I've ever had in my life, okay? So first off, uh, the teacher who uh, taught the class, if I understand correctly, wrote a book about what it's like to have a dick. Oh, my God. And Are you I'm, fucking and serious? And she's a lesbian. And I'm like, you don't even like dicks. How the fuck would you know? You've How? never even been near one. Or you were near one, what the and you fucking... You know, slapped it away, or you tried to throw it across the room. What the fuck? How can something like that exist? How how is that because, possible? Because in university, like you can write if you can just write shit, you don't have to know a fucking thing about the subject. Yeah, that's oh, true. If you're good, if you're good at writer, you can get pretty far. Yeah, like I, I'm surprised I'm not. I haven't been made a professor really because like. <laughs> okay, that's boosting. Now you're just going a little bit. That's a little bit far, but I don't believe. I don't believe there's a reason why I can't because these teachers are fucking idiots, okay? So what happens is she writes this shit and then uh, she she said, uh, you know, men and women are, are completely equal, okay? Oh sure. my if you want to say that Christ. and you can prove it, okay. She goes, I go, so do you, do you think like a, like a woman like yourself could play in the NFL? And she goes, yeah, of course. I was like, no, no, no. the National Football League. And she's like, well, of course. I, uh, of course. I'm like, and you're like in your 50s, right? And they actually believe this, like, 
They have, you know that voice that of reason that you and I and all of us have in our head that's like, no, nah, you can't fucking do that, right? That right. voice for them is gone. So when they say this crazy shit. That's right. Women don't have that, man. You got to understand that their their logic is based off their emotions at the time. It's not, it's not real logic. No, so, it isn't. Exactly. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. She wasn't like she, – she said it completely plain-faced, and everyone's looking at her like, this motherfucker's crazy. I'm like, yo, I can't even play in the NFL, okay? Like, Fucking if right. you drop two kids, <laughs> you can't play in the NFL. No, no. Didn't you guys not see what happened, the last chick that tried to play in the NFL? I want to show you this shit because I'm going to get this v- – What? What? NFL as a kicker this year, and she kicked the – 10 yards like she basically did an onside kick in her distance thing she's like i'm still trying to in the nfl really they yeah, actually got like she actually made it holy no fuck. she didn't make it they cut her after her first kick the year year you can't you can't play football you, you fuck suck. it right what what the fuck were they even thinking? Were they like was that like a public society thing? They're like you have to let her try. No, she, well, yeah, she just showed up and she got hurt kicking the ball. I forgot about that. My shit. God, she got hurt, kick, she got hurt oh, kicking the ball. Man. Yeah, look at this shit. That's hang bad. on a second. Hang on a second. It was fucking. Cra- of course, she's trying out for the fucking Jets because they suck shit. Yo, you want me? I can bring it up on the uh, the YouTube thing here. Yeah, type in uh, Lauren Silberman. Okay. Well, I've How heard you... of that. I heard that name before somewhere. Yeah. It, it was like a month ago. How do you spell Silberman? S-I-L-B-E-R-M-A-N. Lauren Silberman. Okay. She, okay. She's like decently hot looking. It's like, you know, can you just... They got lingerie football and now they got <laughs> professional football. Why do you gotta... Why do girls always gotta try... You don't see any guys outside of the movie Juana Man going to go play in the WNBA. Like... Why do okay. you want to come here? Huh? All right, I got it here. I got it here. So, can you, uh, can you just admit that maybe your sport sucks? Like some women's sports aren't as good as men's sports? Because why else would fucking women always be trying to come over to men's sports? They, they, women's sports are horrible, and they, they feel like they have to be it's e- not equal all to us. Them. But it's not can't. all of them, yo. It's not all of them. It's like, like women's skiing is probably as good as men. Yo, the women's volleyball, that shit's way better, you know. But oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So stick to that shit. Like, women's you, softball sports is that are better. Than men's baseball, that's for sure. That's yeah. right. But when you think about it, they just, they're so insecure with how they are uh, so much more weaker than us. They, they can't handle it. So they have to feel, they have to like, like equate themselves to us in like, that sense. You we guys can't. got your shit, you know, you guys, like, like I saw this thing where they had, like, men trying to play against, like, Olympic women's softball players and all the MLB players getting struck out. It's like, you guys got your shit? Why we, you know, we got exactly. our shit. Stay the like, fucking like, playing like, softball. Like, you don't, you, you don't see us trying to join the Miss Universe contest, trying no. to be like, yeah, we're, we're fucking, we're, we can join that, too, because we're beautiful. Fuck well, I off. I that, man. Uh-huh. There was a tranny last year that tried to win Miss USA. Donald Trump like no, she was she 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 was a tranny and then she got like that sliced off and then, like they found out. Yo, have you guys heard about really? this MMA yeah. fighter and chick? Her name's Fallon Fox. Okay, the bitch is a tranny and like everyone's freaking out. Like a bunch of MMA fighters are freaking out, saying she's like still a dude because she is only she hasn't she's, like she's only I I think she's only got the tip snip, but I I think she still she, is a man. She's fighting chicks. Yeah, type but her in after it's a we dude that to... went turn into a woman. Yeah. Really holy. Yeah, so it's like Juana man, but uh, I know, type in this. <laughs> type in this. Show show Nick this I, I, video. I got right it here. Can you, can you guys can you guys see this shit? Can you, can you see it? It's up. I ain't seen uh, it. I ain't seen nothing. The YouTube thing is up. Um, fuck. Uh, see on the on the left side. Click YouTube. Yeah, you gotta go to YouTube app. Here we go. Oh shit, YouTube. Here we go. All right, can you both see it? Yeah, let's go. Time out, time out. Did you guys fucking see that shit? <laughs> Did you fucking see that shit? That was, oh, that was horrible. That kick was maybe 20 yards. I could do that. And I'm a fat fuck. <laughs> I'm a fat fuck who can't kick. And I, I could I could kick that like twice as far at the very least. Twice as far like, as that. 
This is like for them to kick off a tee to see how far for the for like kickoffs and then they do field goals. And she fucking hurt herself. Wait, like, what the, team? What team is she trying out? The fucking Jets. First woman ever to audition. It's always been a lifelong dream. It shouldn't be just for one gender or another or someone who's tall or just short. You should, you know, go after your dreams and make it happen. Or ground break. Okay. This bitch is crazy. Yeah, yeah, I want to take a couple things. All right. One, the guys, she shattered the glass. How is that? Okay, here's the thing. It's like when um, women first join the military, right? right? By enlisting. They just put their name on a fucking piece of paper. All right? We're not talking that's about. That's all it is to them. We're not talking about the first bitch to, like, drive a tank or, like, be a fighter pilot or, like,. Be a sergeant or like a general, okay? That's not being just enlisting, okay? Just writing your name on the first piece of paper is not shattering shit. Like it'd be different if she kicked the fucking ball like eighty yards or something, okay? Or if she actually yeah. made it. She, if she made it. She actually made the yeah. She yeah. made the team. That would be right. Or didn't get fucking hurt, maybe. There, right. And, and and this guy's saying he goes, you know, the the uh, the outcome that nobody really expected. Everyone expected her to fucking fail. Are you? No, kidding no, no. Me? Here's the thing. Nick, here's the thing. I think he's right. I, I'll agree with him on this, Red Phillip. Because here's the thing. I don't think anyone expected her to fucking get hurt kicking the fucking ball. No one expected that. Yeah, it I mean, exactly. Sucks. It, that, that's an unexpected outcome. I'll agree with that. But, I mean, I, if he was talking like everyone was expecting her to make it or something, like in some fucking movie, it, no, <laughs> you're not going to fucking make it. Are you kidding me? Like, you're, you're a weak-ass little bitch that played soccer in, in college and thinks you can thing, fucking thing. boot I've a actually, ball 80 yards. I've seen girls kick the ball way fucking further than that. Like, Damn straight. Football players. So it's like, why are you... You, you're. If you're saying, "Oh, I'm the first woman to do this," you're fucking it up for all the rest of the chicks because you fucking suck. This isn't even a woman versus man case. This is a suck shit versus not suck shit case. This had nothing to do with vaginas and dicks. This had to do with your fucking weak ass kicking leg. You know, snapping in half and kicking the ball twenty yards. That's right. That's you, what they had think, to do with. You think if she was representing all women, which she's supposed to be the first woman, so she's representing all women in this, you'd think a bunch of women that will actually know how to play football the, to the least would come to her and say, "Look, you're going to represent us. You have to actually be good at this. Yeah. We're going to fucking show yeah, you how to kick this ball properly." There was some other chick that I read who's a kicker uh, in like U.S. college football or some shit, some shitty small school, who's like, "Yeah, this bitch is fucking it up for everyone." That's right. She's, she's poorly representing all women. Yeah, you, you, you. I mean, if you're gonna go out there and say I'm the first woman to do this, could you at least be good, please? <laughs> That's right. That's right. I mean, I could like, see, I could see like a butch fucking lesbian bitch being able to kick that ball way further than her and representing <laughs> women so much better. Someone that could just fucking actually kick the thing more than ten yards. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this this had nothing to do with sex. Like. You just fucking suck. Why would you show up? You, sh you know what this was? This is another case of the news needing to sell some fucking newspapers. Yeah. Or, or get a few more That's news right. on this their channel. This is not to be a story, but it is. It's not a fucking story. It's The story is that she fucking sucks shit. They should have had her on there as worst attempt ever. Like, look at this. This fails at first field goal attempt. Why not? Worst attempt ever in a tryout, and then we all pointed and laughed at her. How about that shit? That's right. I'm uh, if, fuck if a man kicked that, like everyone would probably circle beat him. Yeah, like, you you got kicked out. This they bitch was probably off. a coffee bitch at the fucking ABC studios, and they said, "Listen, we need a story. We're gonna put you out there as the first woman to fucking try kicking a field goal for the New York Jets, and you're gonna fucking fail, and then we're gonna have something to talk about." The sad okay? thing is, here's the thing. The sad thing is. The way the Jets are right now, I don't even know if they couldn't take her on their fucking team, okay? <laughs> like, they took Tim Tebow. They fucking suck. Huh? It like, is what it is, right? Their fourth-string quarterback started this year. That doesn't happen in the NFL. has never happened before. See, and here's the thing. If a team was actually working on getting better, they'd be able to be like, yeah, you know, we're working on getting better, but now they're letting women try out now, so they're not trying to get better. They're just, you know, they're working in the wrong direction. Oh, my God. And another thing, I want to say another thing. She's like, this is for everyone, you know, trying to reach their dreams. Okay, first off, bitch, um, 
everyone reaching their dreams. Really? Like, how did you... Your dream was what, to show up and, and just try out? Or was it to actually fucking make it? Yeah, yeah that's actually a failed dream, isn't it? Because you didn't right. actually make it to NFL and you fucked up. Like, yeah, on you didn't trial. just... You're infamous for, for, for being so incompetent at your job. Well, that's all it is. She's infamous now. It's like, that's all she has. She's like, she can't, she should not be on screen talking because that's what she is. She's infamous. No. I, you well, know what? I, mean, I don't even want to watch the rest of this video. Let's just, I, I don't well, even. Yeah, she, 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 she's happy that, that whatever. She's, as long as she's happy, whatever, fuck it. Whatever. Yeah, she's yeah. happy that, you know, she'll fucking, I, I mean, if I was her boyfriend, I, I I would have to leave her. You think that bitch has a boyfriend? <laughs> I, I, I was, she's a pretty young thing. Like, yeah, I think she probably does, but... A I, stupid I just smile. Mean, you know, I just, I can't see, like, this bitch really... If I was her boyfriend, you know that he gets to job and everyone is fucking laughing. Like, ha ha! Your bitch broke your leg. She sucks. Oh my god. Oh my That's god. That's right. Like, man, you know what it would take to be this what bitch's she boyfriend? What? Her fucking period. Look at the did crazy in her eyes, man. Yeah, oh that, my that, god. She crazy sucks. eyes. Holy shit. You could see the what, crazy in her I eyes. We paused it. What fucking time is this? I don't even know. That's fucking crazy eyes right there. Per perfect time. Fifty-four seconds. The crazy eyes and this stupid dumb bitch smile. Fuck! <laughs> you, could you imagine being this chick's boyfriend? Oh my god! How, oh, how, like, how do you have her come home and be like, "Yeah, I broke my leg. I kicked the ball like ten yards." <laughs> what, what do you say? Do you try? How do you make that better? You go, bitch. You're a dumb bitch. You did this on emotion. I'm fucking leaving. All like, right, all right, all right. Yo, you know what I think we should do now? I think up? we need to get the fuck back to that Maury video. <laughs> nah, no Maury shit, yes, man. We can't, no we can't do no Maury stuff, no, man. Maury's all fake, and he's just like, man, I can't handle that shit, because it's like they probably pay them, just like they paid this bitch to do this fucking thing so they have something to talk about. All right, well, you know yo, what I do want to talk yo, about? Yo, yo, guess what I saw yesterday? I What's that? Up, I saw Iron Man 3. How was that? It was, it was, I'd say it's alright. It's not yeah, the best, but it's alright. It seemed like it had a decent story going to it, but the, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to think of it. Have you seen it? No, no, I just, I just, I read up a lot on it. Yo, Chris, you have you know, seen it? Yo, no, I ain't seen it, but you want to know what movie is sick? Motherfucking Oblivion. Oh, I've not seen Oblivion. My friend was telling me so, it was crap, though. Yeah, it somebody didn't look that good. Shit. Somebody told me it was shit. I forget who, though. I liked it, man. Okay, check it, check it, check it. Here's the deal with Oblivion. I'm going to run it through right now. The only problem I have this, there's not enough Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman doesn't show up to, like, an hour and a half. Man, in. Morgan Freeman looked kind of shitty. It looked kind of like uh, pansy, kind of, like, kid stuff that Morgan Freeman was doing. It's more it. of, like, it kind of does, like... Uh, it's like a sci-fi movie that with... I liked it, but I can understand why a lot of Tom Cruise in it, right? Yeah, yeah. So he it's like he's a clone, but he doesn't know he's a clone. It just turns out that some fucking robots like basically killed everyone, and Morgan Freeman's running this underground resistance. Of and humans? they're just trying to suck up all the resources from the planet. And oh, then shit. Tom Cruise finds out that he's a clone and that there's other clones of him. And then they go down to the surface, and they're like, he's like, I'm going to fuck Morgan Freeman's whole crew up. And then Morgan Freeman's like, no. You wonder how we know your name and all that shit? Because you're a clone, dog. We've been dealing with you for hundreds of years, man. We've been dealing with you, dog. And then fucking they take a nuke up and blow this motherfucker up. Oh, <laughs> shit, eh? Wow. That, man, see, I, I, I don't know. I looked at that. I thought it was a cool kind of idea. But once Morgan Freeman came into it, I thought it just looked uh, too kind of for kids. It just didn't look too, you know, nitty gritty for me. That's the thing with Iron Man 3. That's the thing I read three is like here. Sorry, Chris, to like fucking move on to the side, but like oh, I don't give a shit, dog. Is your show is mine. Yeah, do your thing. With Iron Man three, like fuck, it was. It's weird because he didn't really use his suit much. Like in the first two, like the first one, awesome. you, get the, you get the fact that he was like a fucking hard ass. Like he's he's got money and shit. And like by the third one, he's like I don't give a fuck about nothing. Like he doesn't even own the company at this time. Like I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but like. No, no, no. Go ahead. I mean, I'm, I don't know if Craig I cares, but I mean, yeah, I don't care either. I, it's, I, I can kind of predict it myself when I watch uh, the previews and everything. Anyway, it's just whack because like it, it definitely wasn't part of the comic books. Like you know, Mandarin. Like it's saying like the Mandarin's the villain. It's like it's right. That's not, he's he was nothing. He was actually just a gimmick on the side. It was like some next shit. 
It's just like they should have focused on one villain. That's what I hate about movies like that. Like, why can't they yeah. have a hero versus like a fucking villain? Where they try to have like three or four different yeah, villains, yeah, like fucking up the whole world. And he's like, I got to stop all of them at once or some bullshit. Yeah, like Dark Knight Rises. Like, where they have like Bane and the other. That's right. Fucking yeah. other girl, I totally forget. And then they had the whole like League of Shadow shit all tied in. Like, sure, it tied it in, but like, couldn't you just have see, like Bane? Uh, 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 yo, yo, I want to interject you. You see what I'm saying? Red Phillip, you see what I'm saying? He went instantly to the dark fucking night. He went instantly to it, okay? <laughs> like, but I see his he point, man. I see his point. Hipster. He's trying to be a hipster, and he ain't one. See, I mean, no, that, I'm saying, that, I'm saying, that's his shout-out to the hipsters, but, like, it's kind of, you know, it, it just kind of seeps in. You know what I mean? If you if you spend a lot of time spending, like, time with hipsters, you're gonna it's going to seep in into your, like, real personality later on. You know what I mean? And that's just the side effects of uh, doing that shit. <laughs> but it's all right. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> and, okay. But no, I get it. I mean, I, I think what you're trying to say is that, like, um, it, it's like it, if you want to go in the Dark Knight sense, there was like the Dark Knight, be- or sorry, Batman Begins was. It, I don't know. It actually wasn't that great of a movie. But then they go, you go to the Dark Knight, and it was basically just Heath Ledger's amazing yeah. performance yeah. that supported that. And the good thing about it was just like uh, from, it was just Batman versus. Like the Joker, that was it. That's right. There was Nothing one. There was on. one criminal, and there was one criminal in the first one as well. And then they went into this getting crazy complicated with all the shit in the third one. And Iron Man did the same thing. The first one was like him battling with himself and the new uh, suit and all that. Second one was pretty uh, stuck to one villain. And then now, it, like they're doing the same thing in the third one. I don't oh, like that's that. So true. Like think about it, because like in the Dark Knight Rises. Uh, Batman didn't really. You, he was actually. I mean, uh, fucking Bruce Wayne was not Batman like for like an hour. And like same thing with uh, Iron Man three. Same See, thing that, happens. That, that's ridiculous. And like, what is this like? For are they following like a format where like the third one has to be shitty or something? Well, like think about like in DC wise, like Batman's like their highest like grossing money at, and like Marvel wise, I think Iron Man's are top right now. Like I have like other yeah, than Avengers, true. but like. On well, the side. I, right, Iron, Iron Man is like the whole show in Avengers. Anyway, he's the, like the, he's the main shit, right? Yeah, he's like the one of the leaders. Yeah, yeah like yeah, I, can, I see that for sure. Well. You know, I wanna, it, like I want to make another interjection here. All right, um, go ahead. The Avengers suck fucking balls. That's it. Uh, I, I, I don't I, agree. I, I don't, yeah, I don't completely agree. And I guess with that. what? Guess what? I have fucking two words for you, motherfuckers. The Watchmen, nigga. The Watchmen. Yeah, I like completely. That movie? I, I love that movie. That movie that is movie great. It's so much better than any fucking comic book movie not named Dread. It is so much better. Hold up, hold up. Did you read The Watchmen? No, I didn't. I didn't need to, dog. The movie was amazing. Read it, B. It's really good. It's really good. But like, uh, are you gonna check out Superman then? Because that's the same director. Right, I th- I think I might I I might check that out because because of that and Christopher Nolan wrote and produced like that that seems like it's yeah, it's gonna just, be a good uh, one. Yeah, he produced it. Uh, did he write it? I, uh, I think he got in on the writing at the very least. I I heard something about him dealing with the writings in some way. Rorschach is so much better of a character than fucking any any of the and then fucking Batman. Okay, Rorschach is. Rorschach is so much fucking better. I don't care about Bruce well, Wayne. See, here, here's the thing. Bale. Here's the thing, though. He's like the homeless, like homeless Bruce Wayne. Two movies in his life, that. okay? Right, but here, here's the thing, though. I mean, I think what everybody's looking for is that nitty gritty. That's what Watchmen is. It's like it's dirty, it's rough, it's down in the dumps, it's fucking, you know, it's just like everybody's just depressed, and it's like the end of the world and all this shit. But, <gasps> you know, but, but you know, all these producers, it seems like they're like, okay, you can go as nitty gritty as fucking The Dark Knight was. But then when it gets to that, you have to come bring it back to making it heat for kids, right? It has to be this for kids shit. And, I mean, I, I think The Watchmen was not for kids. And that's oh, why it was no, so man. good, right? And that's why we like it so much is because now it's like there is going to be stuff out there that's not just going to be for kids. And some things might not even be able to – like kids might not be able to watch it because it's good. so fucking – Good, fuck the kids. That's why right. are we all this shit for kids, man? Fuck exactly. these Exactly. Uh, but that's the thing. I mean, superheroes and all that, it's always been like based around kids with like, their comic books and everything, right? So yeah. it, it has to be somewhat, you know, PG bullshit. Yeah, yeah. and then, you, then they make a movie like Dread, and Dread is fucking unbelievable. Have yeah. you seen The Raid Redemption? Yeah, oh, holy man, fuck. See- like ten times. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dog. The Raid was fucking crazy. I can't wait for the next one. Oh, yeah, they're making a sequel. 
Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be pretty good. I, but I don't want to I don't want to see no American shit. I want to. They I already keep are them. making it. They're, no, they're that's right. I, I don't remake. I don't want to see the American remake. I want to no. see the next uh, Vietnam fucking you know. I can already tell you there. who's gonna be the American remake right now. What's that? It's gonna be fucking Channing Tatum, and it's just gonna be SWAT with Channing Tatum. That's what it's gonna Wait, be. Wait, Channing Tatum's in it? Like for no, sure? No, I'm just telling you for an American remake. He, that's he's what just do. he's predicting here. He I, and make, I think I agree. It'll be SWAT. It'll be. That's uh, right. Samuel Jackson will be like the platoon and, uh-huh. sergeant. And, and watch him put fucking Colin Farrell in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah, somewhere Colin there. Farrell for sure. Uh, Channing Tatum. That's guaranteed. No, that's that fighters. That's that fighters, man. That's that fucking. Yeah, like, and, and, MMA but, but that's that's oh, where yeah. it all we'll comes in. I mean, MMA fighters. They'll, in see, it. they'll bring in a bunch of no-name MMA fighters, but they'll have a big name like Channing Tatum, Colin Firth, and Samuel L. Jackson. Just a fucking. Yeah. You know, and, and they'll they'll put a chick in this one too. And uh, you know who it's gonna be? You know who it's gonna fucking be? It's not gonna Gwyneth be. Gwyneth Paltrow. Huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, who, who's that bitch? What I'm thinking about? Shit. I don't know. It, it might. It'll probably end up being. Uh, it'll be what's her nuts? <laughs> Michelle Rodriguez, because she's like typecast as like the tough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, top, yeah. Again, I, I top completely agree with you. So that's what I'm saying. It's just going to be SWAT all over again, which is fine because SWAT was sick. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, shoot, yeah, that movie was awesome. Fuck. Yeah, and guess what? You know who will probably end up being like the villain? It'll probably be fucking like Robert De Niro. <laughs> wow, that is a good fucking call. It's like, yeah, Liam Neeson or Robert De Niro. Oh, or you know, speaking of which, you know what else is going to be in this movie? Yeah, they'll definitely be 50 Cent for <laughs> Yeah, he'd make a surprise guest appearance or some shit. No, it's because Robert De Niro and 50 Cent can't not make a movie together nowadays. And fucking, oh, like, I guarantee you. This made one. This made one. Oh, come on. He's been in so. Man, but Are they love right each other. Right kill. Right you know kill. what it is? You know what it is? Was oh, too. Right. I guarantee you it was because uh, 50 Cent probably like uh, gave Robert De Niro like his cousin's phone number. He's like, hey, you know, <laughs> just, you know, we all know Robert De Niro can't can't keep himself away from black women. Mm. <laughs> he, mm, he mm, likes himself mm, a black woman. He, he must be an ass man. Face. Must be an ass man. Oh, he's got to be. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> some, some big old chocolate ass. He loves it. <laughs> oh shit! Yep. Fucking. Yep. What? What's, up? What's up? Listen. Am I rec- what? You can hear me? Yeah, we yeah. can hear you. Okay, yeah, we can. I was just reading this thing. I bet you Christian Bale will probably end up being in this fucking movie too. You're looking at the picture that I got. Yeah, up, right? I right. yeah. yeah. Oh, you know who else yeah. is going to be in this movie now? You know who's going to be in this movie too? Rihanna will be in it. She will be in it. <laughs> oh man, I hope not. Doing a concert in the background with her break no, 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 or something. Man, she was in battleships. So now she's just gonna be in like action movies. Man, what the fuck she even do in, in Battleship? I never saw she that shit. Was, uh... she didn't do that. I didn't watch it, but she didn't yeah, do fuck shit. That. She seemed like she Battleship, was just like in the look no, hot. Listen, listen, listen. Honestly, Battleship was not as bad. If you can separate the battleship from your mind and just take the movie for what it is, it's not a bad movie. It it just looked like another version of Transformers to me. It, yeah. though, that's kind yeah. of what it was, but I kind of separated that. I'm like, it's not a, a terrible movie. Really? I didn't like what I didn't like was they took a bunch of old sailors from like World War II, and they took like the USS Arizona, which I think is just like a museum boat from Pearl Harbor, and they okay. basically redid Pearl Harbor with the aliens. Oh god! And they have the old sailors like loading up cans. Pearl Harbor with the aliens. Yeah, wow. and they're they have these all these old sailors from World War II, like actual guys. Who are still alive? Oh yeah, I heard about that. They like uh, Navy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they actually had real uh, Navy Vendor, sailors, yeah. and they're yeah. like, "Ah, good morning, Chief, reporting for duty, Admiral." Oh, it's like these. I'm like, you know, one of these motherfuckers probably had a heart attack on set when they set off a squib beside him. Like and the, then you oh, yeah. one. Yeah. Then they probably yeah. had the one veteran crying in the corner because you know, or he probably you know, it brought back bad memories and shit. That's I was right. Like, why, why are you guys putting these motherfuckers through this? I don't want to see this shit. Like, all for the all for the sake of making a bunch of money. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're probably, gonna, probably did it for the money too. We're gonna, we're gonna bring up some old guy who remembers his his best friend, you know, being drowned inside the boat as it fucking sank. Having a fucking plane through flown through his face. Yeah, and they like, couldn't they couldn't get out of the boat because you know 
there was fucking oil on top of the water and it was on fire, so they had to drown or, you know, become charcoal. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He somehow survived, and now he's poor as shit because the U.S. doesn't give a fuck about their veterans. Oh, so he's going to do a shitty all. battleship movie. Mm-mm. Well, I don't know much about the U.S., I can't say much. The U.S. is like, oh, man, you, you know, ain't you guys heard? We got, like, the Gulf War veterans now. You motherfuckers need to suck it up and die. That's what they think of their veterans. They don't That's care. That's exactly what they think. Yeah, they're useless to them. I mean, I, I would care more about veterans than just regular old people at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Like, fuck, I mean... You can't just say that. There are people, too, you know? It's right, sad. but, I mean, man, I mean, I, to me, it's like you, you're old. You just you don't bring anything to society anymore. I, just to, to, uh, <laughs> just you don't to, do anything for they us. If they don't work and stuff, they're obviously not benefiting society. But other than like, I don't know, they pay for stuff and they're buying. I don't know, supporting it in a sense. But but we got to pay them that money to fucking have them survive, right? They got to yeah. get the money somehow. Yeah. The I don't know. I don't know much on it. I I just know that. I mean, it, it gets to a certain point where it's kind of oh, like they're oh, useless. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Political battle, politics war, politics war. No, no battle. I can't. Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't battle. I don't know that. enough on it either. Yeah, I mean, I know, maybe, I maybe, the maybe the next show. Maybe I'll, I'll look up my shit. You look up your shit. Maybe we'll go <laughs> oh, at that. I'd be all right with that shit if you if you were down. <laughs> But I mean, we're both we're both saying we don't know enough. So I mean, there's yeah. there's no political battle we can. All right, have here. I'll, I'll bring up. Uh, I I want to bring something up because all right, go go for it. It's a little bit old. It's a couple of weeks old, but uh, I'm sure we all heard about uh, Mr. Paul. What? Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney. Uh, yes. No, I have not. Uh, you, oh spit shit! Spit it! Spit it! Okay, so uh, Nick. Nick Radjic, a.k.a. D- D- Big N. You probably remember the whole Boston Marathon uh, blow-up shit, which, uh, by the way, I called and said it was white people. I called that. Called it the day of. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I know about that shit, yeah. The two so, uh, uh, Russian brothers and some... some yeah, things. see, this this is what I said. People got to worry about the... um. People are all worried about, like, Muslim terrorists and shit, right? I'm like, you guys got to worry about white people terrorists, like, you know, because, you know... Those are the guys you gotta worry about, man. You know, man. It's it's like we it's like we're thinking, oh no, we'll never do that to ourselves. That'll never happen. They would never do that to us. No, we're white. They're white. That would never happen. <laughs> never, <laughs> ever. Just because he's wearing a turban doesn't mean he's with them. No. <laughs> what? Like fuck. Are you serious? Anybody can bomb you. That's why racism's fucking stupid. Like, yeah. anybody can fucking well, bomb here's, you. Here's the thing what I always so say. True. I say we should encourage racism for comedic use. Encourage fucking it. Because right, it's hilarious. I mean, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but no, racism just for the sake of hating someone, you know, we, you know, we don't need that. But racism should, is completely if it's funny. You know? That's but, right. You got, like, you find the humor in it and all the other hatred bullshit, get rid of that shit. You have that to. is fucking useless. Yeah, but here's what Paul Mooney allegedly said, like, a couple days after... He said, uh, this is what some Twitter fucking ass wipe said. He goes, oh, white people in Boston deserve what they got, and it was okay. They lost a few limbs. As long as no black people got hurt, it was okay. That's what allegedly what? he said. That's what they Twitter wow. people said he said. Yeah, see, that, they're actually, just spinning it to make him seem worse than he is. Yeah, yeah, on the Opie and Anthony show next morning, he goes on, and he said, that's not what I said. What I said was... Uh, Basically, we deserved it. As an Americans deserved it because they, there was some old, I don't know, Jewish chicken like the fifties that like said that like terrorism would happen here, and none of them listened, and now it's happening. But you know, these ignorant, these 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 fake liberal white people that everyone's equal and no one can be made fun of, and go on on Twitter and just complain because they hear that shit. See, it's so fucking typical of Boston fucking type people. Just well, the, the you, thing, were, you no, were warned. Comic-Con wasn't in Boston though. The, were they warned? We have a, were they were they actually warned? Somebody sent them like a. Uh, no, no, no. no, no, no yeah, we did, yeah, yeah. Like, some chick who some I, right, I don't remember some, exactly. Some old bitch. Some way warned. way back when. I mean, it doesn't matter when you were warned. You were fucking warned that like, you know keep an eye out for this shit. And you know, domestic like, terrorism was gonna happen. Right. And, nah, nah. Fuck that shit. That don't that don't happen to us down here. We're fucking Boston. Fuck <laughs> off. You know what I mean? Like no. 
Like, you fucking idiots. Now nah, we're wicked awesome. Our Boston police going to take care of this. That's right. That's right. Right? Like, fuck them. You know what I mean? They, they. I, I don't. I don't think a kid should be blown up. But I mean, they, they knew what was gonna fucking happen. And you know what I mean? Even, even the warning from like North Korea, we're gonna bomb you unexpectedly, like some bullshit that they said. That should have just been a, a big oh, enough no, warning. You know what I mean? Sure to, I'm pretty sure they're trying to attack. Uh, they're after South Korea right now. That's the whole beef. They're like fuck. Jim, no, uh, no, no, no. All I'm saying is they're, they're, they were saying something might happen to the U.S. So why did they not have their eyes open looking for shit like that? You know, even. Though no, it wasn't North Korea. I'm not saying it was North Korea, but you know, whenever there's a warning, you should just at least keep your eyes open for it anyway. But oh, they, man. they, they don't give every, a fuck. Every time they have like a drill or something, like when they're on like a red alert, like for example, 9/11 during, like NORAD had a, a drill during the time, so they're, like it's like a test for like uh, for like actual planes that are, like <laughs> that bombs in them. And like this is during the time that uh, 9/11 actually happened. So like when the, somebody called in and saying like, "Yeah, we got like there's a bomb on this plane, like it's gonna blow up," like they didn't believe them because it was a fucking drill. And like this, the terrorists, I guess the terrorists knew that that it, it was their drill or some shit. Or like maybe like there's a whole it's it's all conspiracy theories stuff like that, you know? Too like right. the whole thing is all the government and shit. I mean that's I a, that's a totally like this stupid fucking thing about tests. I mean tests are great. You gotta fucking you gotta be like this is a test, but you gotta be aware that this shit could happen. Except yeah. now it's you gotta become, be aware. this is a test, so uh, just do this. Oh, we're gonna do it, but you know that shit will never happen to us anyway. So fuck it. Like oh, they, fuck it. It's just useless to them. They like. They don't understand the point of the test. They just do it because they've been doing it for so long now. Yep. Like yeah. fuck. Seriously, how can you not believe that someone could bomb you? Like they, they, it's like they, they're so surprised when it happened. But like they're the biggest asshole country in the fucking world. Yeah, really. How, I was surprised, you guys. I was kind of like waiting for another terrorist attack. I'm like, wow, we. Well, that's because right? that's we're Canadians. We live beside, like, we're the younger, like, nicer brother, and they're the big asshole brother. When he gets punched I'm in the face, that, we're like, like, really, you deserved it. Yeah, kind of. Thing. That's a, that's kind of well. In a sense, they didn't. Nobody deserves to get bombed, but like. That's right. Yeah. But when when they're an, when you're a yeah. big ass asshole and like you don't even expect it, you're such an asshole that you don't think anyone's gonna fucking punch you in the face. You, when you get punched in the face, you fucking deserve it. Yeah, and they do they do do that to other people, which is the worst part, you know. And, well, see, that's the thing. I mean, it, it's because you know the the country's a fucking asshole. So then a little kid's got to get bombed because it, he's just collateral damage. Yep. Just, that, just that, 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 like we don't think a kid deserves it. We think America deserves it. Oh, fucking hell. Yo, Paul, so, Paul Mooney hit it right on the head. Yeah, here, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. It's like, if you go to a Paul Mooney show and you don't... I'm surprised he didn't say something worse. Like, Yeah, you're and right. I'm surprised what they quoted him he didn't say. That's exactly what Paul Mooney would say. Fucking right. I mean, how, how can you go to a Paul Mooney show and expect him to say something about, you know, bunnies or some that, shit? Yeah, you ain't going to say nothing that, like, everything he says is going to offend someone. I remember when I saw Whoopi Goldberg on stage, right? Uh, I saw her last year with my family, right? And she had, like, a warning Did for a show. Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg live? Yeah, I saw her in Windsor. What did she do? Just, like, talk? She's a comedian. She, she has shit to talk about? She actually had some funny shit. Uh, really? Yeah, which it's it's fucked up because I actually don't even remember some shit, but I do remember I laughed a lot, like actual real laughs. I was surprised. I haven't heard but, anything about Whoopi Girl Goldberg in years. Well, no, because she does the fucking View, right? Where oh, she, does she? Yeah, well, yeah, well, yeah, she, yeah she's shit, on the show. A few shows. Most of the shit Whoopi talked about was smoking weed and having her period and shit. Wow. And was like it, telling, it she, oh wait, no, she told men how, how to suck out a, a, a poon. She's like, see, she's uh, in her voice, she's like, guys, this is what you gotta do. See this? This right here is a lifesaver. You see that little hole? Now you just lick it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's it. Don't eat it. Don't bite me. Don't stick your whole face in. That's all you gotta do. Eat the pussy. <laughs> like, it's just like, that's all you gotta do. And, wow. Were you the one who told me that she changed her last name? To what? That, like, she wasn't, like, like her actual last name is not Goldberg? No, it's Gold, not. Is it Goldblum name. now? No, it's a fucking stage name. 
You know what's yeah, crazy though is, is uh, Dykes always try to like claim her as uh, one of them, but she's not a Dyke. She fucked Ted Nansen. Did you wow, know that? that? That's a good score. She must be rich as fuck now then. Well, yeah, because <laughs> she, she did like the sister act and shit. But here's the thing. So uh, I don't even remember where the fuck I was going with this hold story. On, hold on. Oh, if, no, if she's but, rich no, as fuck, why is she doing stand-up comedy? I don't know, because she just wants to. She she just wants to stand up comedy, and you know she's like, yeah. Nobody says have... say rich as fuck. You actually on doing shit to be rich as fuck, man. Like, man, think, what's look, maybe I probably wouldn't go out and spread my useless shit. <laughs> I, I don't know. No, but what I was saying yeah. is, before her show, she had a warning. She's like, listen, if you guys think this is gonna be like some the view shit, you can leave right now. Get a refund. I'm gonna give you ten minutes to fucking leave. Because I don't really? want to hear any shit. She's like, I don't want my video on YouTube like Kramer. Right. See, Paul Mooney needs to do stuff like that. Yeah, but Paul, it's like, I, I, it's like the whole, uh, the whole, um, I told you guys about this. The whole, uh, what's his nuts? Daniel Tosh thing about how rape is funny, and then you know that bitch. Like, if you get raped. If that's horrible, but you know, don't ruin the joke for us. It's a joke. Jokes are exactly. Funny. Wait, what happened? What happened? When oh, it was uh, Daniel Tosh went on stage and was talking about how rape is always funny. <laughs> and then this bitch is like, "Excuse me, rape is not funny." Blah blah blah. And then he goes, "Yeah, wouldn't it be hilarious if this bitch got raped right now? Like right now in the fucking ass and mouth and shit." Right <laughs> oh, fuck. Like, it's a joke. It's fucking funny. Shut the fuck up. Stop ruining our funny. Like. I believe, and I'm crazy, I know that, but I believe that my right to attempt funny comes before everyone else's human rights on the fucking face earth. That's what I believe. Because I think funny is the only fucking right that you that should be guaranteed. Well, because you can't, you, you're not hurting anybody with what you say. You're not, no, I mean, it, it doesn't it matter. It just hurts, it hurts your feelings, words. maybe a little bit. It, 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 hurt, all it right. depends on how much you care, you know. If you, you like, people put like strong feelings behind like simple words, you know. Like, if you just say rape to some people, Wait, sometimes listen. they get like really offended. It's just a fucking word, you know. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Like, like, Four you know, letters. We let like it's the context of the word. Like, you can even ask Red Phillip. I say some ill shit all the time. Like, All the time. You're. I, I don't know if you want me to bring this up, but you know what? I'm going to just because we're talking about this. Do, like, you do what you have whole, to. The whole goat eyes thing. No, I completely remember that. Yes, I remember <laughs> I was all of that. Taking it far, but I mean, everyone else thought it was funny, but you didn't, and it was. Well, I, because I had put so much fucking, I put her so far up on the pedestal, and so yeah. it, it wound up being like Rob and his family. Uh, I, sh- I, I shouldn't use. I well, shouldn't use words. Said it, it said- we, I, I we shouldn't gotta, use we, names, but I, it was a blind following, a blind defense. Of, we gotta we gotta say this to Nick though, just so he knows. Yeah, I, have, I have no idea what's going on. I'll explain. Okay, um, I, I had explain. a I had a girlfriend about a year ago. Uh, we were da- I was dating for for about let's say I was at about I dated her for two years, but let's say I was about a year in maybe. Now let's so let me interject. I want to interject here. Let's okay. keep in mind that Nick didn't see me for three years because I was not allowed near Nick. Uh, it wasn't exactly that. It, uh, you know, we me and Craig. Uh, like we hung out a lot, and then I got with her, and I started hanging out with her way more than him. It was way yeah. less hanging out with him. Anyway, I, I didn't know. I didn't Craig, even talk to you right. for fucking like two years almost. But anyway, no, we talked, but it was it was it was on and off. It, it, I was totally doing you know hoes before bros shit. It was it was stupid. Okay, I was I was completely pussy whipped, and it was fucking it it, it is what it is, right? Yeah, it is what it is. I'm not you mad know. at him though. First girlfriend, like, you know, like, the whole, you lost the virginity to her, all that shit, like, crazy, you know, first girlfriend shit. So, he, um, you know, the one time we were talking, and I can, I have no idea how we got to it, but he wound up saying that she had eyes like a goat, like, her, her <laughs> she had goat eyes, That's fuck, right? That's fuck. Okay, and, like, you would imagine, like, how far, uh, how high up on the pedestal I'd put her that, you know, I... Nick, just, she had a I, killer stare down, I, man. I, I, I wound Red up, I, I wound up having this fucking blind defense of her, where it was, like, I was ready to stop being friends with Craig and just all over this shit. Like, take it back. We're not going to be friends, blah, blah, blah. And it was just a completely ridiculous I blind following. Back, I'm like, no, because she. That's right. It's because and it's what you see. It was crazy, it's what man. You saw. That's right. And you know what? And part of it was when, like, the the day that you uh, you saw that stare down was because she's so pissed off at me for whatever the fuck I was doing. 
right? Okay. That well, the, the well, stare down was at both of us, right? Red Phillip. Red Phillip. I got to interject again, and I'm sorry. Go on. Go on. What, so what happened was uh, Fanshawe College, London, Ontario. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. I was at my, my boy, uh, Ab, he owned a Dairy Queen, right? I was parking his parking lot because it's like two minutes from the school, right? And I had lost my ID. And, you know, I needed to get some rum and some 40s that night. So I had to get Nick, because Nick had a fake ID, Red Phillip. I had to get Red Phillip to go to the liquor store to get me some beer. So uh, I'm like, yo, just because uh, I, I guess Krista lived really close to. She lived right around the corner from the LCBO, or she okay, had an LCBO so around the corner from her house. Shit. So it's after school. I'm hanging in the parking lot because I'm about to go to this party. Uh, I don't remember where it was. I was about to go to some party at the fucking uh, Fleming. Fleming Drive, someplace right there. So I'm sitting in the parking lot. I'm blasting some NWA. I'm blasting this shit. In yeah, the rocking out. Yeah, because, you know, I know the owner of the restaurant. I know I'm not going to get shit. So then uh, I see Nick. Out of, I had my windows up, and then I see Nick, you know, coming up, and then I just, like, turn my head, and then he's at my door, and I put my window down. I'm like, what's up, nigga? And then fucking Krista is, like, standing off, just staring at so me. She's standing, but she's like, she didn't hear anything that's going on. She hears the NWA blaring, and she's yeah. just like, what the fuck is my boyfriend? Who is this guy that my boyfriend's talking to? Like, <laughs> like the just song totally, is like, like, creeped out by it. Because the I song did, was, I, I don't remember what the song was, but the song was something like, you know, like, uh, I think it was a hundred miles of running. He's like, that's right. Or, uh, he's like, where doctor is like, you know, I got an attitude and nothing is quick enough for a nigga with an attitude. Confused, been born to ruse and views and blah blah blah. Let, no, let, no, let, me, let me interject killer. real quick with this is um, I, I I need to mention that at one point in our relationship, I showed her Kid Cudi. She she listened to Kid Cudi and said that he listened. He said the uh, the nigger. He said nigger too much. So really? Kid Cudi, what right. the what the fuck? Right, so there's that. Okay, and then there's also this, though. There's also one more thing on that, because I remember Red Phillip telling me this. She fucking was like, Nick was watching some movie, I guess. I don't know, maybe it was The Wire or some shit, and there was this guy. He was really black on the show. And I guess she, she goes, well, he's got such nice teeth because they're so white. That's right. She, I remember so her saying that. And he's so black. Yeah. And you know how white kids, white, I mean, especially white girls, uh, she's they, like, they're so that, naive. And, the underside of his palms was really right. good in him. That, <laughs> that, <laughs> that, like, well, well, she never said that, but she did. She, <laughs> she, she looked at his teeth. She's like, oh, my God, his teeth are so white. And I looked at her and go, do you realize why you're saying that? And she's <laughs> like. She's like, what, what do you mean? I go, it's because he's so fucking black that his teeth shine like the fucking sun. And she goes, she goes, oh, what, what do you say? I'm going, you're fucking racist. Like I said, like, <laughs> like that's a racist comment. And she goes, well, maybe no, not really, but you, blah, blah, blah. and I go, yeah, yeah bitch, yes, racist. you are. <laughs> I and I told her this shit, but like she, she was one that just couldn't handle that shit. So she like when she sees him sitting there blaring NWA and I'm walking up to this guy and like just handing him forties and rum, she's like what the fuck is my beer, boyfriend man. into? <laughs> yeah, like she's thinking I'm like into some like gangster shit or something, you know? Because that's white that's white girl thought, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and I had her on such a high pedestal that when he when he saw like when he called her goat eyes, what it was was that you, you, you hear that goats can look into your soul, and it it fucking it really it's true. Like if you look at a goat stare, they can fucking look into your soul. And after he said it, I actually looked it up online. I was like, I gotta check out some goat eyes to see if this fucking true right but, <laughs> that, it, it, i don't know you can look at a goat's eyes and be like yeah that's that's pretty fucking like a death stare you you feel the death stare from it and that's Dude, what she, she, she and that's what was... he was getting from her that day like he's she's standing there on the sidewalk just death staring at both of us like what the <laughs> fuck are these guys doing yeah i, I gotta be honest with you, i don't think i've ever apologized for a joke and i don't think i can start i just i don't i don't think you need to you never do i mean because i got over it how, how can no one else get over that kind of well, thing man you would believe like like anytime i meet someone new right and for me to call someone my friend it's like it's like you like you can't just be like nick is my friend right but it's only he he probably said oh nick how long we've we been friends right he's probably said like what since like september or august when the first i fucking met you whatever it was. yeah i know 
We met, did we meet before? Yeah, September. Yeah, yeah like fucking, he says um, September, right? I say we've only been friends for like a month. Because, like, you got to put in time with me. You don't just get the title. That's yeah. right, man. Yeah. I mean, and, and a lot of people, especially <laughs> especially women, I mean, a, a, a guy just like Nick here can agree that, okay, yeah, I mean, maybe it wasn't from the first day that we met that we were friends. But a woman, right off the fucking bat, right off meeting you is, oh, yeah, we've been together since, yeah, this day because that's when I said we got together. That's when I said we were dating. No, 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 no. We weren't dating from then. The the day that I decided that okay, I you know I love this chick and I'm gonna fucking I'll I'll sacrifice a lot of shit for her. That's yeah. the day that I've I've been with you since. That is the day because we aren't together. We are with each other. We like we're not yeah, in a whatever, relationship. Whatever. We're not one thing. I'm me and you're you, and we're gonna fucking coincide together. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Like we're, I still got friends. I still got friends that are people that I or, or sorry, people that I know for years that ain't my friends, but I see them and I talk to them all the time. That's it's, right. It's, it's an earned title. It's like becoming like a a consigliere in a mafia family. Like it's just it's an earned oh, title. Well, you don't just get it by showing up, but you there has to be some of that, you know. That's right. But, and um, a woman cannot handle you saying, "Yeah, uh, we've only been together for four months," even though you say we've been together for two years. Like yeah, exactly. when, when I decided that, I mean, and and then, you know, it gets into all her emotions and you got to explain that. Like, it's yeah. like, you you're like, and you know, there's one thing I've, I've decided I've come up with, uh, I've been writing some guidelines out for uh, how to relate to women and everything. And one of the guidelines is you, you might, ha you might have an analogy for yourself. You might describe an analogy to yourself too. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll look at something and be like, okay, practice is uh, whatever you're practicing for. You might relate it to the, you know, football in the Super Bowl, right? So, yeah. um, you're, you're practicing for that. So that's football practice, right? Now, um, if, if say talking to women, um, every every woman you talk to is just practice, and the woman that you really want to be with is the Super Bowl, then you you got to talk to every single woman you come across. You got to open them. You got to talk to them and compliment them so that when you get to the woman you really want to be with, it's no longer a thing. You just can you can throw that Super Bowl pass in the fourth quarter when you're all beat up and tired like it's nothing because you've done it a million fucking times. Oh shit! Right? Yeah, that's a good. So, that's a good analogy. Fuck. That's right. So, but the, here's the thing: you you see that as the Super Bowl because sports relates to you as a man, right? So it it just makes sense to you like, that just right. It's Super yeah. Bowl. It's, it's football. It makes sense to you. But if if a woman sees you talking to every fucking woman there is out there, then she's gonna go, "What the fuck are you doing? Like we're together. Like we're you know they'll say we're together because they think we're one thing, but you like they'll say they'll get emotionally and they'll get you know fixed on it and they'll they be mad. No right? single entity. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing: you have to use your analogy. If your analogy is uh, something that relates to men, to describe it to yourself, you have to relate it in a way that relates to women. You have to say it to them in something that relates to women. So here's the what I found was um, okay if you uh, if you are a runway model, you gotta walk down the runway a million fucking times so that when you get to the Miss Universe contest, you're fucking you're you can walk down that runway like it's nothing. So yeah, talking to you talk, practice. It's practice. That's right, it's practice. So you, what you have to do is you have to like I mean, what do women really have to practice for? They don't practice for shit, right? They don't like they don't like what do you think? Well like, that's that's well depending. Like every, that's every right. I mean, thing. They, they know, that's right. Whatever. There are there's practice like you know, music, whatever, whatever can relate yeah, to right, that right, woman, right? Sake. Exactly. There, I mean, I'm not saying women don't do anything. I it, I just find it very difficult for me to think of things that relate to women because I'm a man, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to think of things that women do, and I, I came up with the runway theory because that is, I mean, football is something that we can't we can't wind up in the Super Bowl ourselves, right? I mean, we know that, but football is something that relates to ourselves. They well, know that's they, not they true. Can... A forty year old woman that's pregnant <laughs> is a man. She but, can... Lesbian. That's she right. Play fucking left tackle. She's, she, and she's a dumb cunt because she can't fucking do that. Because we can't fucking do that. So, so that's what I'm saying is, if if you had to explain that to a woman, you have to explain it in the sense that she would, in the way that she would understand. So you would have to say, look, me talking to every woman that is around is me practicing. Is you walking down that runway a million fucking times? So when you get to the Miss Universe contest, which is me, then it's fucking, it's okay. I mean, you do it like it's nothing. 
right? And there are all those cool chicks who are like who do understand football and shit. And they, That's right. I mean, all, all, like, they all, get all, right. All you have to do is you have to you know realize who you're talking to and what they like, what you can relate to to, to them, and then use that analogy on them. If they yeah. get it, if they get your analogy, then they get it. If they don't, then they don't. Now, I mean, this is a, like this is my thing right here. I don't know if you guys have been wondering what this equilibrium video has been doing sitting up here. Yeah, what um, the fuck is that, man? That I, I want to show. Yeah, I want to show you this. Okay, you guys have probably both seen this movie, right? Oh, no, no you haven't seen it. Okay, oh, this is perfect. So uh, let's watch this video. I'm gonna I, well, let's watch it without interruption, and then I, I gotta I gotta explain to you this analogy that I have. Okay. All right. Okay. Right. Oh shit! All right. That's pretty so, sick. Pretty sick. yeah, that movie's pretty fucking awesome. There's all sorts of crazy gun gun fu they call it because it's like <laughs> kung fu with guns, right? Um. Anyway, it's some really cool shit. And what it basically is is um they're they're destroying all emotion in the world. Like you cannot feel anything. There's a, a serum. Oh you wait, kind of like the liberals are right now. That's right. You're not allowed to oh, feel shit. anything. Oh okay. shit. So where where he is right now is he's out. He's got this puppy that he found, and he's actually feeling things now because he decided to stop this. This um, serum, taking the serum. So now he's out. He's actually feeling this emotion with these, with this puppy. Stop but, taking the the fucking Zoloft, taking right, the fucking, but, 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 fucking Zoloft and shit. Here right. his kids. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So they come out and they fucking they they see him and they find him doing this shit and that's a sense offense. You can't fucking do that. You'll be killed for that, right? So he's out here doing this shit and um, he just fucking he has to kill the fuck out of them or else they're gonna kill him, right? So here's the thing. Um, I wrote this down. Uh, equilibrium is the perfect analogy of a man versus some, his emotions in an argument with a woman, right? Okay, so <laughs> a man. Okay, he he's the man in the relationship. Okay, I'm like a red pill of trying to relate. Fucking shit. I, I can dog. relate. I can relate this shit Fuck to everything. Wife, okay. He's... I can relate this shit to everything. So in a relationship, if you have to be the man, you can't be very emotional or otherwise she will see you as weak, right? And then she'll wind up leaving because she has to be she has to be the weak one and you have to be the strong one, right? So 
you are allowed to have your emotions. You're allowed to, you know, be a little emotional or whatever, right? Uh, but you cannot uh, show it to her, and if she sees it, then she's go eventually going to wind up testing you to see if you are the man that you say you are, okay? So in this, the man is Christian Bale, and the woman is... I mean, it's a great analogy because um, a woman has a, a million different personalities. So uh, every one of her personalities is one of these guys trying to kill him, which uh -huh. they, uh, right? Okay, so um, he he's out here trying to feel his emotions. He's trying to feel good. You know, he, he's got this puppy, and he's like, "I like puppies. You know, it makes me feel good. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna cry and cuddle up with this puppy or whatever the fuck he's gonna do with it." Yeah, right? the fuck he wants to do. He, he, right, he's gonna, he's gonna feel cry his, and fuck this puppy in the ass. Right. That's what he's trying, so, that's why he's trying to hide it. That's, that's right. He's, he's raping puppies out here, but he's he's allowed to do whatever he wants. He's allowed to have his emotions, right? Why, but, is, he, why is he out there with this dog in the middle of the night in the middle of nowhere? Other than that's right. Puppy? That's right. Okay, so he's out here with this puppy. He's trying to feel his emotions, but the woman catches him. She sees him feeling his emotions, all right? So immediately, she's going to test him and see that. So here's the thing. If he can't shut down his emotions immediately when tested, put a woman in her place, he's dead in the water. He can't. Oh yeah, it would, they would have fucking smelt the fear on him or something. Exactly. Yeah. They 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 will fucking leave. I mean, him being killed in this video is basically her leaving him, like just leaving because he's a pussy to them, right? So basically, what you have to do is you feel your emotions and do whatever emotional thing you have to do. But once she starts testing you, you got to shut everything down. You got to do a million different backflips. You got to grab the shotguns and the pistols and fucking shoot every one of her fucking emotional selves down. Every one of her fucking sides, every little thing that's coming at you, you got to shoot shoot it all down and be like, "Bitch, I'm the fucking man. I I can do whatever the fuck I want. I yeah. feel my fucking emotions sometimes, but this is me telling you like, shut the fuck up. I'm the man. You know what I mean?" <laughs> It, it 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 works with everything, man. There is so many. I I have so many of these things. It's ridiculous. I, I got a question though. I got a question for Go you. Go ahead. Right Go ahead. What do you do if they have the death stare of a goat? <laughs> <laughs> a what? <laughs> the death stare of a goat. That's right. If you if you got death that. Death stare of a goat. If you, if you got that, then, then you're probably pussy whipped. <laughs> you can't uh, get it to that level. You gotta stop it when it's still a sheep. That's right. You you gotta you gotta always keep them thinking that they can't even throw a death stare at you because if they throw the death stare at you, you're gonna fucking you're gonna backhand them mentally and tell them be like, bitch, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Bitch, you know what I mean? Bitch, who do you think you are? Exactly. I mean, you don't you don't exactly have to call them a bitch. Uh, I mean, that's that's a that's a thing. Endearment. If you own it, right? If you if you can own it and not make her feel like like a complete piece of shit, then fucking do it. But if you if you have to be like. Who the fuck do you think you're talking to? Like, do you know who you're talking to? I'm the fucking man in this relationship, not you. Don't be throwing no fucking death stares at me. I do what I want, right? And that's that's what you have to do in order for her to realize that you're the man. It may seem harsh. It may seem uh, just hard to do, but you got to do it. And, and you like, it's exactly what he had to do. He's feeling all these emotions now. He feels like he doesn't want to kill people. You can see his face right there. He didn't want to kill all those guys. Oh, yeah. He's like, he's like, I ask you one more. See, that's right. He didn't want to kill them. Like, yeah, he's like, he didn't want to because he doesn't want to. But he had to. He had to shut down his emotions completely and take them all out, or else he's dead. Right? Like, what are you gonna? You gonna die, or are they gonna die? It's exactly what it is. It's exactly that. You know what it was? You know what this reminds me of? You know what this reminds me of Nick? This kind of reminds me of. Just <laughs> laughing. Go on. <laughs> you know what it doesn't remind me of, but I just want to bring it up? <laughs> the whole Janice versus you situation. Oh, very, <laughs> very, very, like, very close. It's very close. You, you know, I, 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 unfortunately what it was was if you, if you look at it in sense of equilibrium, I'm out in the Netherlands, the, the, the lands outside where you can feel emotions. I'm out there on a bouncy, on a bouncy machine, fucking with puppies and fucking flowers and all this shit and, yeah. and all that shit. And she was in there just fucking shooting at me like crazy. You know what I mean? And trying to like, kill you. Okay. Right. She, she wasn't my girlfriend, but she was shooting at me like crazy. So yeah, what I had to do I? was get the fuck out. Oh, I don't know where you were. You were just watching. No, I know. I was watching from afar, and I was laughing my Am ass I? off. It That's was right. Fucking, you had the binoculars. God, the funniest shit I have ever seen from... I, this was the day when Red Felt was born. Literally. 
That's right. So I like, I had to, I had to hop out of the bouncy fucking, uh, the bouncy hut Yo, I, with all the puppies. I had to leave all of them behind and go up to her and shoot her right in the fucking face. I just said so that she knew who I was. Nick Way, Nick Way died like a month ago. Red Phillip is only like a one month old. He's still a little baby. I have, Nick but, Way died. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm almost a fully matured baby. I'm getting there. I'm fucking, I'm learning my shit. I'm doing my thing, and I, I'm loving it. And, His growth is much that, faster than we could. Life. That is what that is what I'd love the basis of the show to be. But I'm also loving the uh, the other aspect of talking, you know, movies, talking the political stuff, talking all that. But I I think all of this can wind up being related back to women and the philosophies of all of it. I mean, because it's not just the philosophies of it's not just women. It's the philosophies of how to be the man in the relationship and be the man in life in general. Yeah, man. But you you know what the most important thing is though. It's, it's the jokes, man. It's the jokes. That's right. I love the humor in it, and I, I, that's funny. why I, that's why I need yeah. you guys around because I I'm not exactly the funniest person, no, but I, see, I like running I, with it. I like running I, with it. You see, here's the thing, though, man. Is Nick's whole Red Phillips whole family ain't funny. They funny because of the shit they do. They ain't funny. They ain't funny people. We, but, we we're not funny on purpose. We're just funny uh, just, by accident. Yeah. <laughs> you remember? You remember, man? I was I, I was talking the very first day I started talking to Chad Lena just to just to fuck with Mike, right? Like she was like I, I was like so, so why why do you like Mike? Why do you like him, right? And she goes cuz he's funny. I'm like he he's funny? She I mean do you, I go do you mean like funny looking or he he does funny things like he owns a like visa? <laughs> no, she he goes, has a visa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that he, that's a story for another day, man. Yeah, he he's funny. I'm like he's not funny. I'm like I don't think Mike has ever I, I was going back through the thing. Mike has never said a funny joke. He's never told a funny story. That's right. You and know? Mike's just not. I mean, we're not. We're. Not, I don't think we're naturally funny. Uh, us, us gways. No, it, ain't, but it ain't your thing. It, it is what it is. We just. You know, we. I, I like to run with the comedy, and so does he. But we aren't like we. We don't know how to force it. We don't know how to be comedians. And I mean, that's okay, right? Every, you don't not make everyone's up jokes, a comedian. You know, you just go, go right. along with it. That's right. I, I like going with the uh, the the humor of life, the humor of everything that is. What humor it is. of life, humor of political strife. That's right. But but I gotta get going, guys. So uh, you know, we gotta wrap this up. Um, the Red yeah. Phillips show is 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 what it's about. It's about it's what it's about. <laughs> it's about it is some, what it's about. It's it's about life. It's about philosophy. It's about politics. It's about everything. It's about it's about it's like watching you know honkies try to play basketball. It's just funny. <laughs> it's a hilarious it's a hilarious fucking thing, isn't it? Fucking oh, trying yeah. try to watch fucking Mexicans you know fucking work in a suit. Work in a suit. <laughs> Anyway, um... What about Pitbull? <laughs> he doesn't... <laughs> fucking Pitbull, man. He's not Mexican. Right, we, we fucking can't fucking started. We can't get started on Pitbull. Yeah, yeah we're, getting started started, on that, no, we're getting started on Pitbull and his fucking Bud Light commercials. It's Listen, every, everything for another day. Oh, Bud Light, the Super Bowl. We'll throw all this on another day. Um, but no, I gotta get going. You know, big shout out to our producer, Nick Gway. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> right. Shouts. And, um... Big you know, shout out to Mo being guys, banned off right. fucking Google. Oh, yeah, fucking, I don't know how somehow possible. being Mo? fucking banned on Google. I don't free know how that Mo. happens. Free I don't Mo. know. You, you know, start making free Mo t-shirts. Free Mo. Free Mo from Google. Um, <laughs> uh, fuck TigerDirect.ca. We all remember that shit. That's fuck right. Google. You guys got anything that you want to throw in there? Any plugs? Anything? You know? Anything that you want to fucking get out there that people should hear? No. No. Um, no, me, all right. Nick, Brad, Nick, are, uh, we, we're gonna make a movie this summer. Oh yeah, we're doing something. Something's we're going doing on. Something. Something's something in the works. That's down. good. You always gotta have something in the works. Everything. Um, yeah. That's good. You know, I, I, you know, I, I'd like to get in on that. We'll see what happens, right? Let's do it. Um, Let's see what's going on. Um, but no, I gotta go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you uh, with the song, and then I'm gonna close it off after the song's done. Um, it's good talking to you guys, and uh, we'll do this uh, next Sunday, I guess. Yep. Yeah, uh, I'm down for that. Uh, remember, look up your politics on you know old people and death and all that <laughs> shit. <laughs> and, uh, we'll, we'll argument that. We'll, we'll argumentative that shit. Um, yeah. Anyway, if you're down, uh, if it, I don't know. I don't know yet, but we'll I'm, see. I'm down. If, if I find enough shit to argue with, then uh, you know we'll talk. Yep. All right. We'll uh, we'll talk to you guys later then. Uh, take care, buddy. Peace. Oh yeah. Uh, shout out to fucking. Uh, right, yeah, what was that shit? Uh, Cinco de Mayo. So shout out to our Mexican fans. Yeah, Cinco de Mayo. Gotta love it.
We love all you, Mexico. We love you. Okay. I'm. 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 I'm 